Borja from the spot. And Chiquito Romero getting in it with Nico de la Cruz, it seems. It had to end this way. Boca not happy at all. Armani caught up in it all. Borja doesn't know too much about it. And it does get heated. River were the better team. They were more offensive. And naturally, this can happen. Sandes on the whiff, trying to clear a ball. Solari getting the better of him. Solari, which was having a good game since he came in, ends up being fouled. Sandes committing the penalty kick, and now it's absolute havoc. Pandemonium in the stands. Michel is trying to play peacekeeper. It's a highly combustible rivalry. And you need the smallest of matches to set it alight. I wonder what was the catalyst other than the penalty kick. Maybe the celebration. It's how you as well in the thick of it. Absolute chaos. This only makes it more sweet for River fans. Look at how the Monumental erupts. Last time out, it was a mistake by Leandro Gonzalez Pires. Saw Villa through. And Boca came away 1 0 winners. And this time, it's a mistake that leads to the penalty for the substitute. Boca's Copa Libertadores elimination from last year. Picking up a fire extinguisher. Well, how much of any time will be allowed to continue in this match? There were initially four minutes added on. That's a minimum. There's a penalty, of course, and all of the time taken in order to execute it.